We love hip hop. Um, also in uh, in in current news, Vibes Cartel. Their horns for there right there. I've been seeing him on these Twitter streets. I've been seeing him all over the place. Vibes Cartel has been, he's very good on social media. Didn't he just drop a He, just, he, he just, just got a TikTok. He just dropped a snippet too that he's back in the. No, he has a whole tune. A whole yeah, thing, yeah, a whole yeah, tune. Whole but he's been dropping songs even while in jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess the, it feels better now that he's out, right? It's the first one out. <laughs> yeah. Let me see what this is. Like, what fever. Listen, you can't get pum pum in prison. <laughs> so he, he, this is brand new. It says no, 2024. Not. This is not new? That's a that's old, that's that's old that's, song. Bro, that's right, I'm sorry, I don't know. That's his biggest chart. Whoa. <laughs> They're going to kill me. That's his oh, biggest chart. Cut this part out. Cut this part out. Cut this part out. Uh, rewind. That's his I, biggest. I had this feeling he was thinking this is his. New that's his record. biggest track. I don't be knowing, man. I'm. I'm not. I don't listen to dance hall like that, yo. Spotify you, has you already know the words. Hold on, hold on. Spotify has it confusing. It, the first thing you see on Spotify is your highest track to your. You know, it's the highest. Yes, track. but I seen 2024 hard. when I looked at the track earlier before I no. left the crib, and I was like, no. "Oh, this is new." So <laughs> but <laughs> fun fact: DJ Natural told me he recorded Fever while he was in jail. Uh, like that song, while like, and it was a crazy banger. It was like the number one. Song at the time, bro. That song still gets like people going. Watch the man here. What that over my head? That. That's first TikTok. Oh, they oh. Yeah, they're not the something there. Oh, they can like. It's crazy. Don't kill me. They. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, but I don't know about live reading. I just know basics. Let's stop in our eyes and hear I don't know, you know. My first live. <laughs> He's like, what's that on top of my head? <laughs> that's crazy he's been gone for 13 years right tiktok became something while he was gone right instagram evolved like cra- don't get me wrong i'm not trying to put him. he's home so it doesn't even matter man's be getting <laughs> getting the gram in jail you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. J- phones come in he's especially a man with that m- amount of power i'm sure he had a few phones while he was in jail yeah you know what I'm saying? He got to see currently what they're using on the gram. Yeah, what's you know, going on? just don't use the features. Don't go live. <laughs> no, he went live with um Russia on one time, but see? he didn't show his face. See, that's what I'm talking I, about. I stay on this. Like, so I you, he knows how to use the live feature. <laughs> In TikTok, no, he's like, that's where the money come from. All right, cool. I, I know, know, right? You know what I mean? Somebody nudged him, say, yeah, forget that TikTok, Richard. Yeah, forget that TikTok. <laughs> you know, Jamaica, you have to show them what I go up on the Gaza. So, yeah, man, Vibes is, is back out. What do you think his first plans are going to be? Now that he's home. Ah, yeah, he, get some pussy. Definitely <laughs> that. I was going to say that. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be the first feature? Ah, oh, good right? question. Honestly. Because getting the feature right now would be prime time, like, what? like, mil- like your instant platinum gold, All whatever, eyes. you know? Yeah. like Whoever drops the first Vibes feature is, is goat Except for like... No, mm. who will get the first vibes feature? Popcon, popcon. Mm. I think he might just give it to like one of his brethrens, like like one of the like his young boy or something. That's no, my bad. No, no, he's already taxing. He's coming back for all the I'm taxes. Ta- I'm talking major feature, major. Yeah, I think that's going to happen too. That, yeah, that's probably yeah. right. But like, we won't know. It won't be as big of a deal. Will the pop world try to reach out to Vibes Cartel like I on like so. a radio track? Of course, I think so all of that. He's. I think he's worth them getting the money from it like if we get him together with anyone <laughs> like i don't know there's reggae like sean paul does features with pop stars uh, yeah all the time all the time camille Who's, cabello, like, camille okay. cabello yeah, right? the, the most best one was um with gwen stefani and bounty kill all that right mm. so yeah, yeah. it's worth to get vibes cartel to come down and do that now that's money in the bank what over all of the reggae artists, all the dancehall artists right now, if you get Vibes Cartel, bring him into America, get him on a song with somebody, that's money in the bank. He doesn't even need to be in America. He yeah. just send you the verse. Send me the send me the mm-hmm. send me the open, right? That's money in the bank. Who's the first to that bank though? Okay, let's take so your guess is Popcon? Uh, no, no, you said Popcon. I say, I say, like I say pop Drake. Pop. Drake. I, I, yeah. I, nah. Go for the friggin' vibes. Drake's wearing t-shirts with this nigga and shit like that. Go draw for the feature, dog. What? I think he's oh, always shit. wanted that feature, too. Yeah. He's sure, a fan. He, for yeah. sure. For sure. I that would that's be the hit. last little thing he has on his, like, bucket list. Yeah. It, it needs to happen. A vibes feature? Yeah. Oh now that he's God. out, let's come to the crib. And that's money in the bank for the industry. Money in the bank. 
what type of what type of song would Drake and Vibes Cartel make? Like, would it be like kind of like a soft dance hall kind of thing? Because like I, Drake, I like Vibes Cartel. He can go like no, did he can go hard on like a, a dance hall track? You go know, war I too, feel man. like Drake is more like melodic in that genre. So is, so, so, yep. mm -hmm. so is Vibes too. Yeah, vibes yeah, Vibes can do it. both. Yeah, vibes can touch that. Mm. Yeah, he'll, yeah. Sing a, he'll sing a tune. That would be you know crazy. But mm. like, come on, like in the industry, who else like? Mm. Like Quavo, like no, nobody cares, no, man. No, like no, Ice Spice, no, no. you think Come he'll on. lean into the hip hop, like, or do you think he'll do like a hip hop artist, a pop artist, or like a dance hall artist? No, reggaeton, reggaeton. reggaeton oh, bad bunny, bad, bad bunny. No, 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 no. He probably won't touch the bad bunny. Oh. Yeah, bad bunny. That's the kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe Daddy Yankee. He won't, he won't touch a bad bunny still yeah, because yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the thing they're sodomite, so he won't do that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Bad bunny might be off the but, list. He yeah, but some... he'll go for one of them Dominican ones, or you know what I'm saying? Some something that's hot. Yeah, yeah. But if bad buddy didn't have those, you you know, kissing his boyfriend or whatever, oh, or his homie or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, Fam, yeah. like, and listen. Know. I thought he just wore nail polish. Tread lightly, gang. But yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he's Drake... had no. He didn't. There wasn't a thing. He kissed yeah, somebody on the award show. Right yes. Yes. you knew that bunny bad bunny bad this guy bunny. calls him bunny that's your boy eh? <laughs> oh man skin <laughs> conejo right there, conejo, man. <laughs> conejo malo no bad bunny bad, oh, bad bunny don't do that bad, bad, bad bunny good boy yes. <laughs> i don't know uh um, no, bunny no no he don't do that no bad bunny don't uh, do that uh, mm. uh, uh, so yeah, I, see, it's in the thumbnail. You don't gotta play this, yeah, bro. Hey yo, hey yo. All right, and Lil Nas X popping up next in the algo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But oh, so, what about Ye getting? Uh, they went through that door. Yeah, vibes. Yeah, also just dropped an album like yesterday. Hold on, nah. let me the air horn. Yeah, <laughs> no? I can see it, but take nah. the air horn back. <laughs> no, but he'd probably take use him as a sample. He'd probably use him as a sample, like nah, like somewhere nah. in the beat. Er because PopCon hasn't even done that. You guys got to see what's going on over here. If anybody has an alliance to anybody, it'd be like Drake and, and Cartel would have the alliance. Oh, I think so. I think to me, that's just the best choice. Yeah. Because one, it's a Toronto thing on top of that. Like, yo, we're the most connected when it comes to the, the Caribbean culture. So if you're going to draw for somebody, draw for the biggest artist in the world y who's from Toronto. Y YG Marley. YG Marley? What, YG uh, 35? Y y no, YG Marley. Lauren Hill's son. Oh. He has the biggest record out. Right? Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, Bob yeah, yeah, Marley's yeah. son, and they keep comparing Vibes Cartel to Bob Marley. Yeah, but isn't he all, he's in the reggae space, though. What? I'm what? saying, like, outside, like, or what B3 was saying is outside of reggae. He can do collabos in the reggae space all day. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Talking about Shen major Shen Sia, yeah. you probably do one with yeah. Shen Sia. Of course. Oh, but, those are, but that was his artist at one yeah. point. Yeah, Steph Line, yeah. like those people. We don't need Spice. to worry about them. We I would like I would like a romping shop. Uh, oh. The romping shop. Mm. Romping shop part two? Yeah, yeah. By Spice and, and Vibes. Oh, I thought right? you were saying Ice Spice. But we're, no, no, no. I'm talking about Spice. When you bring him out. I'm talking about when you bring him outside of Jamaica to go do those Maybe Burner Boy? Burner Boy would be a good one. Yes. I think he might Afro be. Yeah, he yeah, might yeah, start yeah, adapting. Yeah. Rima? 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 Or Rima? Rima? Yeah, maybe. But I feel like Burner Boy, if he's going to be anywhere T on Afro Tams? Beats. Tams? Tams? Tams, yeah. Maybe Tyla? Yeah. Tyla? Yeah. South African? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's where he'll go. He won't go pop. That's money in the bank. He'll go that way. Because that's, that's also connected to England. And I feel like there's yes, that connection. Yes, yes. Now we're talking with sense here, guys. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 Drake's yeah. going to have to do some work to get to that. To, to like to get vibes to get over there, you know what I mean? For it to make sense, right? Because it just, it just, he's independent. You know what I mean? He's got the world in the palm of his, his hands, hands right now. I'm sure his DMs and his phone has been crazy. But I bet you he goes the conscious route. You think he's just gonna scratch all that shit and just say, you know, scratch I'm all that, that, that he's gonna make love making music more positive sounds. I think he's able to do for all the young, of it. For the younger youths in Jamaica, especially because the first thing he said, he's like, yo, kids don't do crime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and one of the songs that he previewed just the other day, it was about God. You see mm -hmm. what he just tattooed on his forehead? God. <laughs> he might go the route of like more conscious music. So no yeah, secular things. Yeah. So he'll get the burn. You're, you're on, you're on the right track, mm -hmm. right? He'll go the mother, the mama Africa way. Mm -hmm. If anything, you know what I'm saying? Like unite the, unite blacks type, like, well, right. I, I just it just there's a deep connection with Jamaica and Africa and Nigeria and Ghana and those mm -hmm. places, right? So 
it's forever going to be like that. So they, they, they're all, there's always been this thing with Jamaicans, especially when you go there and you're with the actual people. You're not on no tourist shit. Africa is a big thing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? There are Africans. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, and, and you could tour all those countries in Africa. Yeah, and he's going to go, yo, and if he's on the godly route and he's trying to do, and he's really trying to like change for the people and, and change the, the, cause he has the world in the palm of his hands, right? Mm -hmm. Your yeah, think, words are your wand. Mm -hmm. In this situation, if you want to see music, especially dance hall music switch and have a better turnout than what it sounds like right now, because right now you have the Skelly Bangs, you have not saying their music isn't good, but their music isn't translating as well to like the older people. Because mm. the gunman, how, like, yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. a gunman tune and whatever, whatever, yeah. right? And then skin how, out tunes. Yeah, then per se, per se, when it was like, when you heard reggae, you're just like, Whoa, this is everlasting. You hear reggae songs from the 80s that you can play. We were hearing yesterday in just the background faint. Yeah. Background, and you're like, holy shit. You know, you feel that connection. And that's the music he needs to translate to make, right? Like so, Buju makes and stuff. Yeah. So I don't see him really going and touching all the hip hop artists yet. And and being the old vibes, you know what I mean? With yeah. the with the jerseys on and the fullback hats. Like that's the old vibes and the and the bleaching of the skin and the mm -hmm. tattoos on like you know what I'm saying? He's the much tattoo. older now, yeah. Yeah, bro. He's 13 what, years, man. He's 48 years of age. He's 48, eh? Yeah, he's 48 years of age. <sighs> um, you can tell by just his face, his health is probably a little bit weary. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? Like, he was putting out music this whole time. But like 13 years, bro, like you had to like, you couldn't really get to the full spoils of your success. Your labors. Yeah. Your yeah. Labor. Like, yeah. Like the amount of people who are showing the love now that he's home. Imagine like he was able to get all of that and never go away, dog. In his prime. Yeah. Maybe he wouldn't be here today. You think they would have dead him off or they something? They would have licked him off because it's like. Because of how big he was getting mm. in Jamaica, with the he can actually tell the like tell the youths them anything mm -hmm. through the music. He was and, bigger than the government at that ah, point. Ah, and they were they were weary. So okay, yeah. God give you a chance to be out here again. A new you actually at the age of fifty, you get to create a new life. I wouldn't go the route of like calling up Drake and being like. Yo, let's make a fucking uh, a, a, a nonsense song. Or, you know, gunman. Don't call it no gunmans. Don't, don't even, even the, with the regular artists in Jamaica, don't get with none of the gunmen. No, man. he's going to go to like Chronic Law and those kind of guys. Yeah. You'll see where it's going to go. Like, and then the Afrobeat situation, I know he's going to touch that. Mm. But he's also going to create his own style. Mm. Something's going to come out about this. You know what I mean? Because it. Mm. That's what I feel. That new dance hall Afro beat like fusion. Uh, maybe not if that even becomes that, a thing. Not even that. It's already there. They love reggae in Jamaica. That's where Afro beat really is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then reggae, everything is combined. You know what I'm saying? But they that's what before Afro beat really became very, very prominent in the world. Our reggae Africa's listening to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah. Bojo. You're like the biggest stars. From from the reggae community, that's who they listen Capleton. to. Capleton. You know These what I mean? These guys are doing shows worldwide. Right? And then Vibes comes. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They just have a... Re <laughs> like, the kids in Africa were going crazy for him when they found out. They're re redoing the videos of his old... Vid like, they were just that's doing... That's crazy. Good, right? And it's some kids from Ghana, Nigeria, wherever, Uganda, everywhere. So, I would take that love from those that con that side of the world and go over there with it. You're not wrong though, because the lo that love is more pure, man. That 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 North American, just dirty, whatever is going on over here in our side here. of town, man. Like Hollywood yes. and all that shit. Like, no, go to Africa, go get some spiritual yeah. people. Like, yeah yeah, 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 you're right, man. But yeah, you know, now that you've been you've been in jail for 13 years, go, you know, yeah, go to some African countries, go yeah. see some land. Yeah, you got, a di you got a different woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't you know? come up here, go to New York City, and yeah. walk past rats and shit. <laughs> I wonder what his mobility is like. Like, can he travel freely to I, a lot that, of I countries? Like, I know that's a, that's they probably won't let him in here, bro. Unless he gets like a Maybe. special. Yeah, they'll let him in here. And this is where I'm saying this is where it has to come around, right? He has to go do the work. And then he will come back and then he can come here. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll get special permission? Because I feel very like much by so. default, yeah. he wouldn't be allowed, right? No, no, no. Very much so. Yeah, because that's when he gets the record with Drake. Mm. You know what I mean? You hear a PopCon Drake and a Vibes Cartel or something. <laughs> and then they have to bring him. Yeah. <laughs> of 
course it's going to be. But let him go do the work. You know what I yeah, mean? Let him go yeah, do his yeah. work around the world first. Let him go hit some other artists. Go help. You know what I mean? Develop Get some his... other stamps on the passport. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake is just a phone call for him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, listen, man. Salute the Vibes Cartel, man. Welcome home. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, if he ever gets to catch any of the of the, of the podcast episodes, salute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you never in. know. You, oh, he'll, he'll salute. Yeah, you we, never we, know we, who's we watching, hold of him. bro. <laughs> yeah. Get a hold of him. We could get a hold of him if we really want to. Um, there's some- we love hip-hop. 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 Hip-hop.